I'm Matt Caputo, uh, buyer and president of a priori and um, CEO of Caputo's Market in Delhi. We love chocolate. We have a lot of it. And I want to give everybody a little bit of insight into the various brands that we have. So, coming at us from Barcelona, Spain, um, is Cacao Sampaca. And I do say coming at us because this hit me like a tidal wave. I mean, I wasn't prepared for it. Um, I get a lot of chocolate samples. I get a lot of chocolate samples that I don't necessarily like. Um, to be have something that's truly great, that means that lots of things are not great. So um, I had never heard of Cacao Sampaca. I had a vendor send me some samples and I wasn't expecting to taste what I tasted. When I popped the, their bar, this is a 70% dark chocolate called the La Jolla, using beans from Tabasco, Mexico, which were at one point thought to be this very heirloom strain of porcelana that's more, uh, more commonly found in Venezuela. Later they found out it's not necessarily porcelana, but they're referring to it as the La Jolla beans. But when I popped this into my mouth, I was expecting to taste what I taste almost every day the barrage of samples that are just ho-hum to bad to forgettable. And I was struck instantly by this gripping like licorice, plums, and smoke that were indicative of an origin that I had never tasted before. And I've tasted a lot of chocolate. So for a company to come just out of the blue as far as I was concerned, and to strike me with flavors of terroir coming from the earth, intrinsic to a cacao that I have never had before, I found that incredibly exciting. And then on top of that, you have bars like the gin and tonic um, with, and the strawberry and rose, which have interesting textures as well as flavor inclusion. So take the gin and tonic, for example. These bars were actually uh, a joint project between Cacao Sampaca and Albert Adria. Albert Adria being the brother of Ferran Adria, uh, the famous uh, Michelin three-star chef who was rated number one in the world, Ferran Adria. Uh, El Bui was the name of the restaurant. Legendary restaurant, literally the creators of molecular gastronomy. Things like culinary foam that we've all heard of originated at uh, El Bui at these restaurants and Albert Adria, um, Ferran Adria's brother being one of the chefs there, created this these really unique flavors and really unique textures. So what we have here is a milk chocolate gin and tonic. And what they've tried to do was recreate the flavors not only of chocolate but of a cocktail, a gin and tonic. So it's got quinine, it's got the crunch that you would get from ice. It's got a slight effervescence that you would get from the fizz, but it's all, again, like with the style of Artisan du Chocolat and other European producers, it's about the chocolate first and then the f interesting flavors and the textures there to support them um, and add interest, but remaining about really, really good chocolates. They have a line of inclusion bars, like the Strawberry and Rose and the Gin and Tonic, and also the La Jolla and the Soconusco, which are based on just really, really good you know, put your feet on the floor, brace yourself, really great single origin dark chocolates as well. Cacao Sampaca from Barcelona, one of our favorite brands.